Jaguar Land Rover has played a key part in supporting the British economy through the creation of many new jobs. How does Jaguar Land Rover address the health and safety requirements of its workforce? Jaguar Land Rover's adoption of an NQI 18001 health and safety management system has been key and instrumental in helping us to promote best practice in health and safety. We chose this route to give us an external verification to our systems and help drive the innovations which we'll see later. As one of the leading manufacturers, Jaguar Land Rover sees compliance to 18001 as not only the right thing to do but also essential for our business. We recognise all of our employees need to be safe at work and we lead by example in terms of best practice in health and safety management. We are committed to ensuring that we meet the requirements for certification to the 18001 standard. Certification promotes continuous improvement. Supported by regular assessments, this will help drive our business to constantly improve and develop our cultural behaviour towards health and safety in our workplace. Safety at Jaguar Land Rover has always been a key priority, but as we see our demand for our products grow annually and the number of markets that we're now working in expand, not to mention the huge increase in our workforce, it's important that safety remains at the very top of our agenda. Destination Zero is a journey towards zero harm. It's a series of initiatives and activities and events that Jaguar Land Rover will be hosting over a number of years to achieve the journey to zero harm. How do you feel Jaguar Land Rover's training has affected yours and others' approach to managing health and safety at work? We know that our contribution to the maintenance of a safe working environment will be measured and observed by external auditors. Playing a part in preventing harm feels pretty good and is certainly encouraging. Nobody goes to bed at night excited about the health and safety training day ahead of them. However, the JLR health and safety training experience is generally perceived to be innovative and enjoyable too. As a result of our training that's designed to meet the requirements of 18001, employees are encouraged to accept and manage their personal responsibility to ensure safe working practices. Our 18001 system has helped us to accommodate some brilliant innovations from our health and safety function, including the adoption of hybrid technologies and also the updating of existing and installation of new facilities. Being able to integrate policies and procedures for the use of such technologies into our 18001 system has meant that everyone has been able to demonstrate their understanding of how to work best in the interest of both their own and their colleagues' safety. Can you share some of the benefits Jaguar Land Rover has enjoyed as a result of having an NQA certified system in place? We've achieved a 10% reduction in incident levels over a number of years. Going forward, the management review part of 18001 has driven us to improve metric tracking to encourage more transparent reporting of issues. Combining 18001 has inspired innovations that will help Jaguar Land Rover embark on its journey towards destination zero. If you are now able to go back in time, would you follow this particular route to best practice in health and safety management once again? Absolutely, it's feasible for organisations of all sizes within our supply chain to adopt this system of best practice in health and safety management. It enables us to address our corporate responsibility. We encourage our supplier base to explore certification to 18001. This supports good risk management by helping us understand their commitment to health and safety. As a trade union safety representative, what are your views on how employee safety is managed? Employees at Jaguar Land Rover are always able to have open discussions with the NQA safety team. Our audits that have taken place have never been seen as interrogation, more as an opportunity to improve the processes and performance of safety on site. The certification of 18001 also promotes communication between senior management and us at an operational level. This communication is what's motivated us to keep 18001 certification year on year. There's a range of health and safety systems organisations can adopt. What influenced your decision to go for an NQA certified 18001 system over and above others in the marketplace? We wanted to take every possible measure to encourage best practice in health and safety amongst its employees and suppliers. 18001 is globally recognised as one of the most robust and high spec standards to become certified against. Certification gives employees the assurance that they can be safe at work. What advice would you give to companies considering 18001 certification? Companies looking to promote a prevention is better than cure culture should opt for 18001 certification every time. The four main stages Jaguar Land Rover encountered on their route to certification were plan, do, check and act. PDCA is a four-step management method using business for the control and continual improvement of health and safety processes and products. When used and managed properly, this process can go a long way towards ensuring you meet your organisational goals. 
For instance, in Jaguar Land Rover's case, Destination Zero. What influenced your choice of certification partner? With the number of sites in the UK, it was imperative that our certification partner understood the multifaceted nature of the business. NQA demonstrated a pragmatic approach to understanding this. It was also essential that we had a partner accredited by UCAS. Jaguar Land Rover didn't want a tick box exercise. It was key that we worked with an organisation that understood health and safety. It's been great seeing how companies can benefit from having 18,001 certification. Yes, we're pleased to be able to share the importance of our employers and contractors' health and safety. This is one piece of a jigsaw on a journey, but hope it will drive more organisations to never stop improving their health and safety too.